Good morning, Raymond A. Howard. I uh, post that RaymondAHoward.com. You can reach me there. You can also, anytime you want to, even now, if you care to, above me, you can subscribe and receive my uh, alert that I've gotten another blog in the can. Or you can, over to my left here, you can also. So do subscribe because that's the only way that I can get your permission to uh, send you my newsletter and also my alerts. Now, I want to talk to you today about a very important subject, but before I do, uh, in, contained in my blog is information taken from uh, Albert Morla. He's the, uh, he's the president and I CEO who serves as president of the Southern Baptist Theological Seminary. And he wrote in 2013 a blog that had all to do with DOMA and the ruling by the Supreme Court uh, that made DOMA unconstitutional after they had made it constitutional in 1996. Clinton signed it in uh, to law at that time. Anyway, they did a turnaround and for whatever reason they came up. I know the reason. Uh, you can only imagine, but you'll get that information. Uh, read that uh, blog. I've uh, taken the liberty to link to the blog itself but I want you to read my blog uh, because, again, there's information there that I hope can answer any questions. Uh, right this moment, uh, let me tell you something about myself. Uh, I'm a United States Marine, uh, retired, uh, city of a Detroit employee from the health department. I'm uh, trying to uh, break into the social media, uh, they, my blog has also been dedicated to the rebirth of Detroit and certainly the revival of America because we're in trouble. But from time to time I'll be talking to you about some of the things that's on my heart, uh, some of the timely things that you need to know about, and always addressing the issues at the time especially about Detroit. I want to be able to give you what I've been given. I have something to offer, I believe. I, 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 I don't come without knowledge, but at the same time, I, I'm a lifetime, a lifetime learner, uh, which is important. But waiting for the f next shoe to drop, well, if you just got back from vacation on Mars, uh, it's important that you understand that last week or maybe even two weeks ago, uh, Judge Bernard Freeman, he betrayed Michigan. Uh, he gave credence or approval to same-sex marriage in Michigan. Now, it wasn't really a surprise uh, anybody that's discerning should have known the direction he was going to take, especially after he had uh, banned the Bible and any reference to it from his courtroom. But nevertheless, uh, I go into some detail as to how that came about. But I want you to know that this issue of my blog is certainly to point out that there is uh, a mindset, and there is a s sham that's being played on liberal minds and even conservative minds every day. Um, but this sham is not only biblical, but it comes, you can find it in Genesis uh, 3, 
the first verse where God was challenged or Eve was challenged by a question. Uh, has God not said? And it goes on from there and it leads to the fall. But you can read that for yourself. Do read it. I want you to be like the Bereans. They were noble in all that they did. Uh, when they heard the word, they also went and investigated for themselves so that they truly understood it. Now, the issue is that that's pretty much what I'm dealing with this week with the blog. And like I said, I believe that uh, not only did Freeman betray Michigan, but I, be, I think that he betrayed all of us individually. Um, I still say no to same-sex marriage, and that's the God thing. I'm godly, and I want to make sure that everything I do and say lines up with the Word of God. And uh, in addition to that, you know, you may have read in the Bible over in Romans 6.16, and I'm going to paraphrase it, that to whom you serve or to whom you obey, the servant that you, you you serve to that person, and and certainly the service that you give and you obey can lead to sin, and that leads to death. And we want to always uh, be servants of God, and that's the only way to be. That leads to righteousness. Now uh, I stumbled through it. But you can read it for yourself. You'll find what I'm talking about in uh, Romans 6.16. So, go ahead and read the blog. Uh, it's very important information in there. And I think that you will be encouraged. Um, and the Lord wants us to continue to occupy. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Pray for Detroit. Pray for the United States. Pray for the leadership. <clears throat> Excuse me. But, uh, you know, these are times, tribulations we all go through. But you can be encouraged because you are on the winning side. So be encouraged today. And I'll be giving you my believer's perspective next time.